wrap it up. We got kickoff. Why does God hate football season? I wish he would have rested on a Wednesday. It's so hard to be a Christian in the West Coast time zone. I probably shouldn't talk about church and say fucking in the same sentence. Or on Comedy Central. I, I, they don't want me to swear. But uh, I love to swear, and I don't know that I'm not allowed to swear. Right? What if I die, get up to heaven, and God's like, hey man, welcome to fucking heaven. I'm like, what did you say? He's like, welcome to fucking heaven. I'm like, you can swear? He's like, fuck yeah! It's fucking heaven. I'm like, oh! See, I was always raised as a child never to swear. He's like, where in the Bible does it say you can't fucking swear? I'm like, no fucking where. He's like, yeah, now you're getting it. By the way, I saw some slutty bitches by the pearly gates. You're gonna go tap that? They ain't getting in. I'm like, what? He's like, no, I'm kidding. You're not in heaven. You're in hell. You're on punk. I'm like, oh. Mm. Damn you, Ashton. That one was elaborate. Way to go the extra mile. Even in the afterlife, you're a douchebag. Hope you enjoyed charity banging that geriatric for eternity. <laughs> Am I right? It's so gross. Oh, I hope I get famous in my early 20s so I can settle down and marry some middle-aged 40-year-old with a bunch of kids. That'll throw the scent off the gay trail. <laughs> I guess it has. I guess it has. Women like that Demi married a younger man because guys do it all the time and no one gives them grief for it. But if a woman does it, it becomes an issue. Okay, but the flip side of that is how about when a hot female teacher uh, bangs a 14-year-old student and nobody in society really has a problem with it. They all say the same stupid joke. <laughs> Probably made the kid more popular. <laughs> That's disgusting. She's a pedophile. She should be in prison forever. I did it a teacher in high school. Yeah, it didn't make me cooler. And a lot of you are like, that's because you were homeschooled. <laughs> okay. Valid, valid point. Doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It just means statistically I'm smarter than you are. And I had game. Oh. A leopard can carry two times his body weight into a tree. I don't have a joke for that yet. But it is accurate. And just in case you hate my stand-up, at least you can leave going, you know what, I learned something. That guy's like a damn Snapple. Right? You might not like the flavor, but once you pop the top, you're like, oh, the sun is hot. 45 million degrees Fahrenheit, it feels warmer. Tahoe's west of LA, bullshit, Snapple. Then I saw a globe, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Snapple. Oh, you were always right. Gotta seal up the borders in this country, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about Mexico either, I love Mexico. Oh, beautiful beaches and $50 never bought me so much weed. Yeah. Sure, there were branches in it, I don't care, I had a garbage bag, I was king for a day. I'm talking about Canada, stay in your own yard. I'm so sick of these Canadians down here always complaining, right? Oh, it's nice here, but I couldn't live here. I love seasons too much. I love seasons. So do I. That's why I live in a place that skips the shitty ones. Yeah. Because I love seasons. Why don't you ice skate your ass back up to your log cabin and enjoy that 10-month dead period? where you get to stay inside day after day, and eventually you have to stab your wife to death just so you can see some color. Oh! That's my favorite season where your wife is lying dead on the floor. Those reds, am I right? It's like Maine. We should get lobster. I don't think I could ever stab somebody because I'm really bad with the Capri Sun and other reasons that even fewer would laugh at. No? Okay. 
No juicy, juicy, juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. This is my water. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I wish it didn't have that many rotations to take the lid off. Had I known that, I would have pre-screwed it two turns. Mmm, delicious. Sometimes I feel bad because secretly I hope New Orleans gets nailed again. But, 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 then I don't. Well, you'd rather spend billions rebuilding a city that's below sea level? I've got another business plan. Cut our losses and finish the job, Lord. I'm sorry, it's that one guy. Yeah, that's like, you know what? I came to a comedy club. I hope there's jokes and sarcasm. The rest of you are like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a half full guy. New Orleans gets flooded. I say to myself, if any city in this country needed a bath, it was New Orleans. That's, Cajuns are dirty, that's a fact. That's French and redneck merging. That's a hygiene combination no any person can tackle. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not somebody that doesn't understand why you would owe. We had a horrible tragedy in our country. That's not bad enough. What's right around the corner to make everything worse? Blatant racism. And it was obvious in New Orleans. We all know it wasn't just black people looting, that's for sure. There were tons of Mexicans there. <laughs> there were. And nobody was pointing the finger. I will. I see you, Jose. Drop the VCR. <laughs> the hell are you stealing a VCR for anyway? They don't even make VHS tapes. <laughs> Why don't you steal a TiVo? That's what I would steal. But I don't have to because I'm white and I've had one for three years. That's, that's not racial. That's a fact. I've almost had one for four years. I'm not going to say that. How does that make the joke better? I've had a TiVo for four years. And you're like, who's the dick? So I say three years to soften it. Wherever you live, there's risk. I mean, I think we accept that. We live here. Oh, California, we have earthquakes, mudslides. The rest of the country thinks it's hysterical. Be like, ha ha, that's what you guys get for building your houses on the side of cliffs. <laughs> that's because we have shit to look at, Tulsa. Yeah. Why don't you keep your mouth shut and enjoy that new strip mall? Ooh. I hear they're going to put a Chili's in it. That's going to be super sweet. On Thursdays, they're doing two full and appetizers. I'm gonna go pizza popper, you get spinach artichoke dip. I wanna get chicken fingers. You're getting a chicken Caesar salad. It's a different kind of chicken. Oh, that joke was long and worth it. Do you know who loves to get fisted? Sock puppets. Aww, that joke is adorable. I wrote that joke so children could watch my show on TV and not be embarrassed in front of their parents. Uh -huh. I was watching the country music channel the other day and I fell asleep and I woke up racist. So, oh, that explains the holes in my linens. I saw a guy driving on the highway with his bare foot out the window. Can we agree that that's disgusting? Right, so I was gonna pull up next to him to scream at him. Then I realized it was an amputee making a left. I know, but I'd already start to yell. So I'm like, oh, get your blinkers out. And he waved, or kicked. Received the information. If anybody ever asks you for directions, you have to point, point with four fingers. The look on their face would be the funniest thing you saw all day long. Just like, oh yeah, it's over there. Are you yelling at me? No, you just go that way, you take a left. That's how you get there. Well, then you should have asked the walrus. My girlfriend is Korean for this joke. And we met online. And people make jokes about it, but that's not how eBay works. You research. Wait for one without a reserve. None of this buy it now. I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, she got so mad. She hated that I always corrected her. And I tell her, how do you think it made me feel knowing I was dating someone that was always wrong? <laughs> and I'm in show business. Oh, she would get so jealous when I cheated on her. And I would tell her, maybe if you had a better body, I wouldn't have to. 
instead of owing, why don't you get on a treadmill, put it on eight with an incline, because I'm not gonna stick around with back fat. And she's like, I'm not fat, I'm pregnant. I'm like, whatever, it's gross. <laughs> now make me a sandwich. <laughs> then I'd give her a kidney shot, not a hard one. Just say, you know I love honey turkey, pow, oh. He likes turkey, I need more iron in my diet. That's a bruise joke. People are like, oh, you punched your pregnant girlfriend. She wasn't pregnant, she's pro-choice. Does that make you uncomfortable? Move to South Dakota, I hear they're taking rights. You know, South Dakota is the first state in our country to make abortion completely illegal. <laughs> and it doesn't affect me because good luck finding someone in South Dakota that I'd have sex with. <laughs> Oh, have you seen them? There is no town on that team. That's a triple-A club at best. And if you're not pro-choice, all that means you've never slept with a stripper in Kansas City. Because that's a phone call no man wants. Guess who's going to be joining us for breakfast? Cinnamon Jr. Oh, not if my $700 has anything to say about it. <laughs> now clean it out. I know, but he had a really bad dad. I'm reading the crowd. One more abortion joke, you got it. All right, I can tell. I can tell. I do this for a living. Have you heard about this morning after pill? Or as I like to call it, breakfast in bed? <laughs> that a few women have taken it and then died a few days later? Oh, talk about two birds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like I will be going to the game this weekend, fellas. Drinks are on me, I had a great week. Poker's a sport? Then put it in the Olympics, and you can only play with what your country's worth. How great would that be being American? It looks like Costa Rica's all in with 15 coconuts. <laughs> We're gonna call Los Luego small blind, shouldn't have limped. Go cry about your bad beat to Nicaragua. They got guns. Mm. Do you guys even get what my show's about? Huh? Do you? I'm talking about bringing the troops home. That's the message. It's not obvious, but it's there. Bring the troops home tomorrow and continue the war here. Because we owe it to our troops to let them sleep in their own beds with their families. Wake up in the morning, have a delicious breakfast, drive to war. We can have it in Nebraska. We don't need that horrible state. That can be our field. Some of you are like, oh, that's not nice. Then we wouldn't have any corn. My SUV doesn't run on corn. <laughs> Ethanol's a dream and a dumb one. And let's not pretend that anyone in here likes Nebraska. Have you ever wondered why there's storm chasers? An hour in Omaha, I'm looking for a tornado to take me any place. <laughs> Get me the hell out of there. Oh, no wonder they're all fat, it's so they'll stay on the ground. And yes, I do that joke in Omaha. And I stare at them while I'm saying it. And I'm sure they'd love to scream at me, but they can't because they're too busy in fried mayonnaise bowl. <laughs> I'll get to you later, boy. These are delicious. Oh, server, another bucket, quickly. I felt my blood moving. Parade or fireworks, which do you go to? Fireworks, of course. I don't even have a joke for the moron that yells, parade. I would go to a parade. I'm here alone because I make horrible decisions. I don't even know when a parade's finished, do you? You're like, oh, is that it? Can we go? I'd like to wash the gay off me. And it's sticky. Fireworks, you know when they're finished? The finale? It's pretty impressive. Parades could learn a thing or two, they need a finale. My recommendation, one more lap, 60 times the speed. Uh, bands in a full sprint, floats going 80, midgets falling off because they got little fingers, they can't hold on. Right, so kids are catching them. Mom, can we keep them? I don't see why not. They're not real. They're not. They can't even vote in our country. Okay, they can vote, but they have no clue who they picked. They're jumping up, grabbing levers. And that's the story of how President Bush won the election. Mm, oh, <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, that joke had a hacky ending. Mmm. 
I was like, bless you. They say bless you because they used to believe evil spirits were in your soul. So whenever I have to sneeze, I encourage my friends to be like, get out of him. Get out of him. You ever have to sneeze and you can't sneeze? Isn't that the worst feeling? Do you know what it means? An angel in heaven faked an orgasm. That's true. I read that in Revelations or had a messed up dream. Either way, it was hard to believe. My jeans faded, your jeans with holes in them. Yet they're not this old. That's how we bought them. That's ridiculous. I say give them brand new to the homeless. Let them age it. Then take it back, wash it, sell it. That way we can clothe the homeless, but we can still look down on them because they're not in style. <laughs> we need classes. Know your role. Don't you love that one? Money doesn't buy happiness. Do you live in America? Because it buys a wave runner. You ever seen a sad person on a wave runner? Have you? Seriously, have you? Seriously, have you? Try to frown on a wave runner. Oh, they are so awesome. It's just throttle. People smile as they hit the pier. Because you forget you need gas to turn, it goes against your natural instincts. Some of you aren't laughing, we all miss your cousin. But not, not laughing's not gonna bring him back. I don't think that's right. He's dead for a reason, he was a show off and he tried to spray us. I didn't wanna get wet. I yelled at his mother at the funeral. Do you like how I start jokes with mass appeal and continue to only six people have a clue what I'm talking about? That's not a good style. That doesn't make you famous. Of course money buys happiness. You ever seen a homeless person skip? The answer to that riddle's no. They're not allowed. I once saw a homeless person start to skip, bottle, hit him right in the dome. He forgot the rules. I'll remember next time. Yeah, I threw it. I don't care. Why is he happier than me? He shouldn't be. I'm rich. Spiritual. You ever hear girls say that? I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. I like reply, I'm not honest, but you're really interesting. Let's have cider and talk about your crazy cats. Maybe three hours from now I can dry hump you. No? Okay, then scategories. That's second base in Christian baseball. Some loose girls play as a single. Slow down, ladies. I am all for women that decide to get plastic surgery because plastic surgery allows you the rare opportunity to make your outer appearance reflect your inner appearance. Fake. <laughs> Which is a positive joke for women, unless of course you have fake boobs. Let's be honest, you're not bright enough to get that joke. <laughs> How's that feel, whores? Huh? Yeah. Just keep telling yourself you did it so your shirts would fit better. You did it because you're a whore. You forgot because you're stupid. Enjoy your free drinks. I'll buy. I love big titties. Ah, yeah. You got big titties, then top shelf. Small titties, mm, beer in a can. You ever been to a third world country? Not a boob job in the bunch, yet they still find happiness. And that's discouraging, because they're tough to look at. No, no, I know you have a hair lip, but why not work on that rack first? <laughs> I'm from America. Don't speak your booga booga language. By the way, I hate soccer. And we wonder why other countries think we're a train wreck when we have shows like The Swan, Extreme Makeover. I don't want to develop a personality. You're better off cutting my face. <laughs> am I happy? Am, am I, this is the expression I ordered, happy. <laughs> Put me on Extreme Makeover. I'd like a vagina under my arm. <laughs> yeah, that's extreme. I don't even know if they can do this surgery. Whatever, I signed the waiver. Let's go, Doc, drill. You know how I like it, 5 16th and juicy like a starburst. <laughs> this joke gets worse, hang in there, all right? <laughs> My friends will be like, you look different. I'll be like, oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> are you ticklish? Uh, are you? All right, come on guys, two fingers, there you go. Oh yeah, that feels so good. Now I know why I call you best friend forever.
I think it's pretty obvious that I don't pander my act, but just in case there's any women in here that have had plastic surgery or are considering getting plastic surgery, know that I'm just making light of a social issue. I don't give a shit either way at all. Please save your breath. Don't come up to me after a show like, I've got fake boobs and I'm not stupid. <laughs> That's the only thing I've come up with to make that moment equally uncomfortable for you. I know you're not stupid. I'm telling jokes. I've had plastic surgery. I could care less who knows. I have. How old do you think I am? Hmm? I'm 59. I am. Check my MySpace page. You can't lie on there. I'm 59. My lips are not this voluptuous. I don't know if you're familiar with the procedure, but a lot of times they'll take some from your back section and inject it into your lips. What? I don't have a lot back there. So I was forced to use my dick fat. Because I've always been told I have a fat dick. That's why I wear black condoms, because they're slimming. That's a joke. I don't wear condoms. I don't. I don't. It's against my religion. I'm kind of mad that you asked. Do you know how hard it is to grow up when you're a little bit different than all the other kids? Every day in school I would hear it. There goes Daniel, he's got a fat, fat dick! <laughs> and I would run home crying, Mother, why is my dick so fat? And she'd be like, because your real father's Samoan. Is that why I hate The Rock? And she said yes, and then we watched the rundown and we wept. And yes, chronologically this joke makes no sense at all. But I don't know any older Samoans, so The Rock is my dad. <laughs> Woo! That joke was long! Oh, yeah, guess who has cat-like reflexes? Me. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Cat-like reflexes. Look at this, watch this. I can do that every time, ladies. Am I right? <laughs> I'll put it in. <laughs> All right, let's edit out the me going like that. My mom would absolutely be like, That's <laughs> so disgusting. What's wrong with me? Chapstick. You know what, I'm gonna tell you something. Chapstick, first of all, if you're a man and you put chapstick on, you have to put it on all the way around. You can't just put it on the bottom of it and go, I mean, you can, but then you have to keep the chapstick in your asshole. <laughs> Which isn't a bad idea because I'm always losing my chapstick. <laughs> my favorite part of the day is when my upper lip gets dry enough that I can tuck it in and it stays. I'm always like, yay, it's this time. <laughs> because it reminds me of how shallow I really am. Because I could meet the most beautiful woman in the world, but if her lip was like that, I'd be like, oh, no way. Seriously, somebody give me a stick. I'm going to beat this mutant. <laughs> okay, here's a joke that's not going to work, but I have to do it. Why? Because there are people out there that will find this funny. And I'm not so selfish that I don't care about them as well. I'm sick of the media making female sports athletes into supermodels when they're clearly sixes at best. I don't need to be told how hot Danica Patrick is. Do you really think she's beautiful, Danica? She's 4'11 and bowling. You ever watched her walk to her car? Like, oh, there's nothing hot about her. Maybe it's sexy when her hair's blowing in the wind as she's in last place. Or Maria Sharapova, she's breathtaking. <laughs> really? When she was 13 and grunt and I was into it, but now it doesn't do much for me. <laughs> It's like the Olsen twins, it's just gotten sad. I kind of hope one of them ODs so I can stop guessing. <laughs> Applause break on a joke I've never said before on my special. That's rare, I'm just saying. I'm not tooting my own horn, I've never said that in my life. Fucking improv up here. Good God. It's unbelievable. I can kegel 75 pounds. Is that a lot? Is that good? I don't know. I'm told it's good.
three sets of 40. Is there any men in here that have a ponytail right now on it? I swear to God, I want to see somebody. Do you, do you have a ponytail? No, you don't. Oh, you were just trying to help me? Like, like, I, I hate him. A man with a ponytail saying, hey, don't fuck with me. While a man with pigtails is saying, here, hold these while you fuck me. It's a subtle difference, but it speaks volumes. It's all about that part. Do you think there's any case of polite Tourette's in the world? Like one random person that yells out random compliments for no reason at all? <laughs> Lovely smile! <laughs> Sorry, I have a disease. You may, don't worry about it, that was nice. <laughs> Lovely hat! <laughs> I think two examples is enough. Next joke. How does Superman fly faster? Can anyone answer me this question? How does the super I, I get that he can fly, I accept that. I just want to know how he flies faster. Is it just like more? <laughs> this is the only part I don't understand. Does he have different settings? Like, oh, this is my cruising speed. I can one arm it with a bitch, you know, take it around town. <laughs> I just need some nerd to talk to me after show. Man, see what happened when the planet exploded. And I'll tell you what a vagina feels like. Are we even? You know, there's actually a blood test out now where you can find out if your kid is gay or not. Yeah, it's an HIV test. <laughs> I know, okay, I know. It's not a great joke, I know, but it's 100% accurate. So, I hope we find a cure for every major disease because I'm tired of walking 5K. I'm pretty sure I don't have to sweat for cancer. I'll write a check. <laughs> I have high definition television because I felt the lack of resolution was affecting my ability to solve cases on CSI. <laughs> I need some more clarity in this house. Have this case wrapped up in a half an hour. That way I don't have to listen to Gil Grissom ramble on about bugs. <laughs> we get it. You like maggots. You're weird. Ooh, I just burped. Did you guys hear that? It's weird that I'm actually mad because earlier today I had a blackened chicken wrap and they forgot the ranch. And when I burped, I was like, you know what? I, I'm mad again that there was no ranch on this. <laughs> like that burp would have been better had there been ranch. Did anybody see the Oprah Winfrey uh, episode where she had a little girl in there born with a rare disease where she didn't feel pain? Like she put her hand on the stove, she knew it was hot, she'd leave it there. It was a nightmare for the parents. They had to check on their child constantly to make sure she wasn't hurt because she would never cry. And I got so sad because at that moment I realized I can never have kids. If that was my kid, I would have been like, Honey, we have to talk. A hard kid is a fucking superhero. <laughs> yes! See, I got in a UFC fight this weekend. I don't know, I think she's gonna do great. I snapped her arm six hours ago. She didn't tap out. I love her. She will be the next Hoist Gracie. I love that Kobe Bryant puts out a commercial this year. Hate me because I'm a champion. Hate me because of my work ethic. It's like we hate you because you were accused of rape. <laughs> what planet does he live in where he's like, Seriously, guys, why are they pissed off? Because of the rape? Are you sure? That doesn't add up. I love basketball. I love college basketball, and I'm happy that the NBA finally made a rule change uh, forcing high school athletes to play at least one year of college ball. It's a great rule change for college basketball. I came up with one more, just for college. Why not let white players get one more point? <laughs> Right, who cares? Not gonna affect the games at all. Gonna make them feel like they're contributing. A valuable lesson to learn in college. And it'll remind the black athletes that no matter how hard they try in this country, they'll always make less than their white counterpart. <laughs> Laughter's the right response. White people going, oh, is ridiculous. You reap the benefits, you just don't like it thrown in your face. Uh, I hate making more money for no reason. 
<laughs> no, secretly, I love it. <laughs> I just wanted the black people in here to see me go, oh. So they'd be like, oh, that must be one of the good white people. But you're not, and that's why they're gonna shoot you after the show. Huh? How's that feel, you cracker? My fo fo make sure all your kids don't grow. I miss you, Tupac. I love it when people act like they don't understand why the rest of the world may hate our country. We have a game show in our country called Survivor. That's a game in our country where you can win a million dollars for surviving 30 days in a place where people already live. Do you realize what kind of message that sends? I, I've been here for 60 years. May I have some bread? <laughs> no, we're Americans. This is a game. Ah! We don't have our cell phones. This is really hard. I don't even get service here anyway, and I'm a singular. They merge with at and I'm supposed to have double the bars. I have no bars. And I hate this island of Wahapui, which I thought was a shampoo by Paul Mitchell. It's not. That's Wahapui, and it smells good. You can't celebrate in football anymore? That's a rule change? Are you kidding me? If I score a touchdown, which is unlikely because I went undrafted yet again, despite a solid 40 and great hands, I will celebrate, and I'm not going to point to the heavens either. I'm going to go like this. Because God is everywhere. He is. He's in my soul. He can be in yours. You have to invite him. He's like a vampire. The dude's got rules. Stop celebrating and just do your job. Their job is to catch a ball. I don't care if you get in the end zone, have a 10 minute tea party, it's a game. <laughs> just don't get mad at me when you're paralyzed from the neck down, being carted off the field because some free safety took your head off and you see me in the stands going, <laughs> dance now you overpaid clown. <laughs> How does it feel to know God hates you? Maybe V8 will sponsor a vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Moan all you want. I love defense. Defense! That's what Chan I start in my section, usually 118, lower bowl. You see me at a football game, I got a big letter D, I'm going D! My friend Carl, he's got a fence, chain link, not white picket, we're not faggots. One of us is. It's gross. Butt sex is a lot like spinach. If you're forced to have it as a child, you won't enjoy it as an adult. Am I right? <laughs> Saw a guy wearing a What Would Jesus Do bracelet and a Lance Armstrong bracelet, and he went up to this blind kid and rubbed his eyes, and the kid could see. And he wasn't used to the light, and it was bright, and he walked into traffic and was killed instantly. Okay, people that are laughing, I'm gonna call you half full because you're focusing on the important part of the story. The bracelets are working. I took my What Would Jesus Do bracelet, I put it on my Jewish friend's bracelet, it burned his skin. He threw it on the ground, it turned into a serpent. We both started laughing. We left it there, we hate snakes. We think they're slimy, even though we know they're not. Do you get the joke? I'm making fun of people that take the bracelets too literally. They're not magical. They're a reminder to be a better person, to live a better life. And if you need a rubber band around your wrist to be that, here's an idea. Take it off and snap yourself in the eye and see if that wakes you. I wore a What Would Jesus Do bracelet in a movie theater once to see if it worked. My cell phone went off, one of those obnoxious rings where it's a song, and he doesn't want to answer it because the good part's coming. <laughs> then he answers the phone in the theater. What's going on? No, I'm in the movies. This is what I said verbatim. I'm not going to censor myself. Hey, buddy, get off the phone, please. <laughs> this is what he says to me. Shut up and mind your own business, asshole. Ah, now there's trouble in River City. <laughs> I'm a man. Not much of one, but a man. I will choke you if you are younger, smaller, and preferably white. <laughs> I had my hands on his neck, and then I saw my bracelet staring right back at me. What would Jesus do? So I lit him on fire and sent him to hell. I did. I had to. Amen.
I waste so much time in my life. I could have accomplished so much more, but I have no dreams, like real dreams. I sit at home thinking about, how come nobody with a Lamborghini ever pulls up next to me and is like, hey man, you want this car? I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> yes! I got a Lamborghini today. It just never happened. I think that's wasted energy. I want to get rich enough in life that I can afford to release a dozen doves every time I walk into a room. You know people, baby, did you see that guy come out of the bathroom? The, the one with doves. It was beautiful. I bet that's John Woo's kid. Huh? Oh, balcony or appreciating a Woo reference. Front row guy just going, yes. The rest of you Google it, I don't care. I hate you, Google. You've caused a lot of problems in my relationship. I shared a computer with my girlfriend, she'd look up anything. I'm gonna look up apples today. She just said to A, it's like Asian ass porn instantly. <laughs> Google's like, I'll take it from here. I know exactly what you're looking up. Well, every time you hit A, it's Asian ass porn. Google, all I ask is you let her type three letters before you jump to such a bold conclusion. It's bad enough I'm clearing my history every three hours and changing my passwords. I'm trying to have an honest relationship and you are fucking my shit up! And guess what? When I'm looking up Asian ass porn, guess who has all the time in the world? Uh, I do. I've got the house locked, the plantation shutters are closed, my keyboard is in a safe but reachable distance. Do you appreciate the picture I am painting? I am jerking it in this joke. This is highbrow stuff, guys. Oh, I'm gonna be so famous. I shave all my pubes. I don't know why I looked at you when I said that. But I thought you would appreciate it. Why? Because I'd like to have the fastest sex ever. That's why. I got three and a half seconds on my best time. Congratulations, little Phelps. <laughs> Check off swimming joke. Got one. I wrote that joke because my friend's a swimmer. He's like, why do you shave all your pubes? I'm like, why are you in my bathroom? Because uh, I enjoy watching you poop. And I'm like, okay, no more slumber parties. That's creepy. And sure, I do it adorable. Both elbows and the knees, fingers crossed, chin down. That's my business. Close the door. I got the Bellagio coming to my ass. I don't need an audience. Highbrow poop joke? My father said impossible. I said nay. <laughs> Top that, Bob Newhart. <laughs> Do you love goose down feathers? Do you have the trifecta? Mattress pad, pillows, comforter? Oh, oh, oh. It's like sleeping in heaven. Until that quill comes through the pillowcase and sticks you in the eye. He says, how's that feel, bitch, huh? You like sleeping on my carcass, do you? Oh, 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 goose, why do you hurt so good? <laughs> Maybe a higher thread count. 600 does the trick. Quit sleeping on 12, that's hay. <laughs> Spend the money, it's one third of your life. Sorry, my nose itched. Hello, Carol Burnett's daughter. I think I'm too young for that reference and it doesn't warn at all. When I die, which is gonna be in four years, <laughs> yay! It's the only thing I can plan. Uh, I'm gonna be cremated from the neck down. Yeah, then at my funeral, when people are talking about me, they have to hold my head. Yeah, and then at the end, they have to kick me into the audience and the audience has to keep me up for at least three hits or you have to start the whole service over. And no cradling it, I want legit sex. Anyone seen Karch? Do you guys daydream about being on The Price is Right as much as I do? <laughs> oh. Contestants row the last bidder, the sweet spot. What are you gonna do, your last bidder? One dollar. Does your hoodie sweatshirt say, I go to the university if I waste my bid? <laughs> because that's what you just did. That's a dumb, the best bid statistically, you have to muster up some courage and go, okay, I need to know what the highest bid was. Se okay, 781. <laughs> Ruins your day, didn't I, lady, huh? You got an awfully small window. Hope you nailed it. 
I don't know why you want to nail it anyway. So you can go on stage, reach in some old guy's pocket for a hundred dollar bill. My grandpa used to do that all the time. There was no hundred dollar bill. There's a hole in his pocket, no underwear on. Excuse, excuse me, don't you go, oh, my grandpa was a great man. If he wanted his balls touched by a little boy, he was gonna get it. He shed blood for your freedoms and don't you forget it. I think I'm on the wrong side of that one. I get it. You ever say the silent prayer when you see the old lady spinning the wheel, hoping once in your lifetime she gets caught underneath and it snaps her back right in half? And a pool of blood comes around and it lands on a dollar. Bob starts peeing himself. He can't hold it, not at that age. It's dangerous, so he's peeing, laughing. Get up, bitch, you have a bonus spin. Take the bonus spin seriously. What are the greens worth in bonus spin? 5,000. That is a lot of coin. It's gonna slow your heart rate down. You're gonna bid more effectively in the showdown. Now you're in the one seat, you get to bid or pass. Bid or pass. Pass, of course, it's rookie. The first showdown, carpet, couch, and headset. I'm not on the queer prices right, am I? I signed up for the straight one, yeah. I'm gonna send that south. I'd like the second showdown. That one has a wave runner and a camper. It's a white trash starter kit. I know, I know. A lot of you are like, we don't even have a trailer hit. Screw it, you're camping in your driveway. Maybe you can buy an inflatable pool so your kid can drown. Or maybe you could spend more than $100 on a pool. You're a horrible parent and I'm glad your grass died. Are we down to six people? Perfect, okay. That's a well, I don't, I don't get the last part. I mean, obviously the last part, what, what, the grass side? What does that mean? Well, if you leave the pool out for a day or so, it kills your lawn. I rent an apartment. Well, that joke's clearly not for you. Maybe if you're nice, he'll do a poor version later. I, I, I won't. I will not. I heart President Bush. Uh, President Bush has done some great things. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but 07, extending daylight savings time two months longer? Yeah, I'm aboard. Thank you. That's great. Do you not know this? Next year, it's two months longer. There's not new months, like Rectober and Toyotathon. <laughs> Which I'm sure he tried. They're like, whoa, what are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna go to the ranch. I'll see you in seven weeks. <laughs> my storm cut my last one short. Okay. First of all, Daylight Savings Time was created for farmers, and there's only four of them left, so I don't think they warrant half the calendar year. I say keep it 50-50, but instead of one hour forward, ready, ready, five hours forward. Suck it! By the way, if you ever have a job where you have to give speeches in front of people, pepper in the phrase suck it. Very empowering. Just be like, as you can see from our PowerPoint presentation, suck it. The and your client's like, did he, did, he, did he say suck it? Oh, I like this guy. He's a go-getter. Okay, I say change from one to five hours for because people with nine to five jobs, you've gotten so selfish and complacent with the daylight. You get it all the time. People that work at night, a third of this country, according to a survey I made up for this joke. We get robbed. It's not fair. Half the year, five hours forward. It means the sun's rising at noon. It means I don't feel like such a piece of shit every morning when I'm waking up. I'm like, wow, the sun's just now coming up? I might mail a letter and get groceries today. Time for me to turn this life around. Starting tomorrow. Because today, there's a Laguna Beach Marathon on MTV, and I'm gonna get caught up on season three, try to figure out why they're so fucking ugly this year. And, that joke's not even over. Are you kidding me? And sexually transmitted diseases would drop off completely. Oh, I'll feed you, baby birds. Do you think I'd leave you with a cliffhanger? Mm -mm. That's not my style. Five hours forward, think about it. That means the sun's setting at two in the morning. These guys are at a bar pumping drinks into some girl. You get to bring her outside in the daylight. Yeah, you'd be like, mm, no, uh-uh, no, uh, seriously, I had a lovely time this evening, but I will see your ass back in standard time where you belong. And she's like, oh, you'll be back. They always come back for my coochie in the dark. And you will be like, thank you, Daniel, and your new daylight savings time. You kept me from having sex with a pterodactyl.
And you don't want to sleep with a pterodactyl. Not at your place. They have a 14-foot wingspan minimum. They're knocking everything off your counters. Or... Then you have to go to Target. You're on a budget. That place gets expensive. You go in there for two things, but then you see the frames. Who can pass up Rush Silver? And I say we change all our socket covers, not just the bathroom. Ah, you see that guy? One guy. That's why I just, I kept going until one person was like, holy shit, that joke had everything. Oh, oh my goodness. Do, do you mind if I recap? There was sex, there was pterodactyls, the knickknacks, the target. And I was just telling you, we should change our socket covers. This guy's more of a prophet, less of a comedian. You're welcome. You are welcome, sir. I think we should legalize marijuana in this country. Yeah, I really do. Awesome. Just so potheads have nothing to talk about ever again. Come on, it does get a little annoying after a while. Just, hey, you want to get high? No, why not? Because I'm not in the seventh grade and I have things to do. Don't you grow up and do coke like an adult? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get some meth. No? All right, sorry. I went too far. Oh, nothing like tweaking for three days. Am I right? I love flip-flops. Women, it's okay to love men. Eh, it's 50-50, right? Because you've been stuck, you've been caught, you've been at the airport urinal in your flip-flops. Huh, not the best time. You're standing there, your feet get a little wet, you haven't started yet. Oh. Now there's a problem. You got two choices. You can one, ignore it, live that kite runner shame as long as you can bottle it. Or you can two, face your attacker, whisper in his ear, thank you. That's what I like before a flight to Phoenix. Get me ready for the heat. That is a golden shower and kite runner reference in the same joke. Almost impossible. Almost impossible. I pull it off because I care. All right. I'm pro-gay marriage. Just the idea of having a man around the house. Finally, I get some stuff done. Let's go. We got chores this weekend. God hates queers. That's me pretending to be a right-wing, redneck, radical protesting, not double-fisting a black cock. You have to have the right visual or this joke's gonna hold no weight. Oh, he's picketing. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. That didn't look like picketing. That last part didn't look like it. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> Do you want to know the answer between religion and gays? Look in the Bible. Look at Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We all know who sinned first. Come on, ladies. Do you have to eat everything? <laughs> no, I know. You were hungry. and There was a snake talking to you. Stick to that story. That's scary. If a snake told me, eat an apple, I'd be like, all right. I didn't know you could talk. <laughs> oh, man. I hope it's a Granny Smith. I like those. They're sour. <laughs> If it's a golden delicious, I'm like, leave me alone, snake. I'm eating peaches. You talk to me in two months and then Fuji apples are ready. <laughs> and chronologically, that joke is accurate. I know a lot about apples. Now we have to be punished for all mankind because of you women eating an apple? What was women's punishment? Do you even know? Painful childbirth, menstrual cycles. Man's punishment? We have to deal with women. That's why I get so upset and be like, God hates gays. God doesn't hate gay people. He's just upset because they found a loophole in the system. <laughs> Wouldn't that upset you if you came up with a great punishment? And they're like, oh, we're just going to sleep with each other. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier than listening. Yeah.